I feel really, really good. I feel elegant and it doesn't feel too light or too thick or too heavy. The fact that it was able to cover my under eye circles and do like my full face at the same time with just this one stick is kind of amazing. Hey everyone and welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name is Lena and I am a makeup artist turned hairstylist. And today we're doing a little bit of a different video. We are gonna be reviewing Merit Beauty products. These are makeup products that were sent to me via PR package. This is not paid. This is not an ad. They just basically said you have seven products to choose from and let us know if you like it and it would be nice if you do a dedicated video. So this isn't sponsored. So I decided to do an unboxing video. Let's try this together on camera. I am 37 turning 38 and my skin has changed a lot in the past few years. So if you're over 30 and you're finding a hard time getting really good makeup because our skin changes big time after 30, 35. If you get thyroid issues, if you're a mom, things just kind of go downhill after 35. So it's nice to have a makeup line that is just minimal. I want to pop in here and say that I have had three sessions of microneedling done with hyaluronic acid and then I did a hydrofacial two days ago. So my skin is feeling amazing. It's feeling plump. The texture is gone. Acne scars are gone. So I have the perfect canvas right now to do good makeup. So if you are over 30 and you're finding that there's texture in your skin and you are having issues wearing really good makeup or really just trying to get really nice makeup but nothing's working. It's just like it's slipping off and you've got like weird patches and stuff that's because the cell turnover slows down so you need to do something like microneedling or a really good hydrofacial so I'm not a skin expert but I do want to say that if you don't have good skin the makeup is not going to look as good I was in denial for a long time but it took a while for me to just accept the fact that I needed some Botox and some microneedling to get my youth back so here we go let's try these products I'm so excited to try these with you so they said to choose seven products and one of the products that I wanted was a brush, but their brush was actually sold out. So I got two of the complexion sticks because I love to mix and I know that when I get darker in the summer, I will need to mix these together or use some for contour. I got the bisque and the camel. Let's see if their website was actually accurate in color matching. So this is how it comes. This is actually quite minimalist. If you're traveling, this is great packaging. Oh my God, this looks beautiful. This is the camel. This one is bisque. It's a little bit darker. I wanted something that I could use in the summer. Okay, let's try the highlighting balm. Oh my gosh. And this one that I chose was Cava. Such cute packaging. I love a good highlighter. I used to have one from NARS. I think it was called Copacabana and it was not champagne. It wasn't gold. It wasn't too cool. It wasn't too warm. And I've been trying to find something similar. This is the Flush Balm in Beverly Hills. These are cute. You know what? It's very lightweight. I really like this because when if you're traveling or if you are a minimalist like myself, nothing bothers me more than really heavy, thick packaging. Oh, this is nice. I wanted a color that was just gonna look flush and natural. This is the Tinted Lip Oil in Marrakesh. I love this. This is like simple luxury. You know, I feel luxurious just pulling it out of the box. This is a lengthening mascara. I think they only had like two or three colors. So I just went with black. This is great packaging and it's very lightweight. This is a volumizing pomade for the brows. I don't know if I need any more volume on my brows because I actually have really coarse hair. That's my Middle Eastern background. So this is going to be fun to try on my brows. First off, we are going to do the bisque for concealer. I wanted a color that was going to do both conceal and foundation. Okay, so it's creamy but not too heavy. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to use my fingertips. Whenever I do concealer recently, I've been using the Maybelline, I forget what the one, the one with the sponge. I just let it sit for a couple of minutes just so that it gets a little bit tacky. So after 30, our skin does tend to get drier. If you have any thyroid issues, your skin will become dry. I have a lot of serum on right now, so I'm not too worried. But it is kind of an issue if you don't have a lot of um, hydration under your eyes, your makeup will look cakey. Okay, so so far the makeup is melting beautifully into my skin. This is really beautiful. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I could probably put on an oil before I do my face. I think I'm just gonna grab a kabuki brush and I will be right back. So I'm just gonna use this to lightly blend all of the foundation in here. 
So you can use circular motions or you can just use kind of feather stroke it into the skin. I think I would have preferred something a little bit more liquidy or just with a bigger tip so I could kind of apply it all over the brush like this and then use it to apply. It blends really well. I mean, look, if you're in your 20s and you're applying this, you should not have any problems. And if you have any texture, just stipple it. Yeah, this looks really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this kind of all over the brush. I would say if you have drier skin, definitely apply an oil first. And then I'm just gonna stipple this on. I do have larger pores, so I wanna kind of work the foundation into the skin. It's very lightweight, even though it's creamy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a whole lot. I'm gonna apply a little bit more under my eyes. I would definitely have preferred a corrector. I do have a nice peach corrector from Smashbox that I like to use on days when my, my under eye circles tend to turn blue. So a peach corrector would be perfect. But I'm not using anything other than Merit today. This is a full face of Merit Beauty today. All right, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my eyelids. I think you just need a little bit more hydration. I need a little bit more hydration. It is winter and I just need something that's gonna be a little bit more glowy. I don't want matte. I'm almost 40. I need things to glow again. Alrighty. Oh, this looks really good. I'm just gonna run the product through the brush like this and then stipple it on the areas where you normally have texture or maybe you have some acne or scarring or you have larger pores and you just want to work it in and make sure your skin is super hydrated before you apply any of this all right now i'm gonna go in with a darker one this one is camel and um let's do a contour why not so the way i like to do contour is i don't take it all the way up I apply it right where you see the normal shadow. Um, I think taking it up is not very pretty. I don't like doing that. So I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna take it down here. So this color is very subtle. It's not really showing, but this is the kind of color that you do wanna do. If you do anything darker than that, I just find it's like a little bit too Instagram and we don't want Instagram makeup. I take it a little bit under my, my lips here just to create a little bit of shadow. Yeah, I'll put this on this here. I'm gonna put some in the crease too, cause like, why the hell not? Same brush, and we are stippling it right in. Ooh, and you wanna lift it up, so you're doing little feathers, so you're pushing, I don't know how to describe it, but you're just kind of like feather stroking it up, push up, push up, towards the cheekbone. You're kind of like sculpting your cheek, and instead of going all the way up to the hairline, I like to take it all the way up towards the eye. Like this. And we're just gonna tap it here. We're not actually gonna blend anything. So these two lines that we put for the nose, we're just tapping it. You definitely don't need powder with this product, uh, with this foundation. It's quite creamy. So it kind of just dries into a powder. I like this a lot. A little heavier than I like. I like liquid. I love Maybelline Fit Me. I do, I am a Maybelline Fit Me girl because it is, it just makes my skin glow beautifully. And I'm just gonna tap into the crease too. Cause you wanna add dimension. Once we take, put foundation all over, you do take away a lot of that dimension. You wanna bridge this dimension into the nose. Whatever is left over on the brush, take it under here. It's looking really cute. I love doing a dark shadow just I mean, it's not that dark, but just a subtle shadow on the corners of the eyes because that gives them a nice lift towards the temples. Okay, that's it for the foundation. How do I look? It's always nice to have three colors of foundation because we never use the same colors throughout the year. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blush. This one is Beverly Hills Flush Balm. I chose a color that I thought would be really nice and neutral for summer and winter and that we can layer. So you can layer this with a bronze, you can layer this with a highlighter. It's a very versatile color. The way I like to do liquid blush, you wanna put it on just like the part of your hands that's like the fat part of your hands and you wanna apply it right there. Oh, this is so subtle. This is beautiful. We're gonna apply some on the other side, the palm of the hand. And then you want to kind of warm them up. Oh, this feels really nice. And then you wanna smile and apply it on the apples of your cheeks. So you wanna just press those areas into 
the apples of your cheeks right there oh my god i love this holy woo, it's a lot of fun this looks great i cannot get over this this is gorgeous i love it so you can apply this blush underneath your foundation and then it just looks like a natural glow now we're gonna go ahead and apply the highlighter so I can go directly on my skin but I don't want it to mix with my foundation so I actually grabbed a brush and I'm just gonna run the highlighter through the brush like this just a few times warm it up and then I'm just gonna apply. oh oh do you see that Holy, this is pretty. I'm gonna apply a little bit on the cheeks just cause so I can look like nice and glowy. Oh, this is pretty. Now you can use your palm where we use the blush, where we had the blush. And then you just kind of like mix them together. The warmth from your hand is going to melt everything together. This looks amazing. I think I would apply this under the foundation because the consistency on this highlighter is very creamy whereas the foundation was a little bit more heavy and like powdery. So I feel like if you were to mix those two together, that could really create a beautiful finish. I'm gonna keep using my palm until everything is melted through. I have a little bit left on my brush, so I'm gonna apply some on the cupid's bow. Ooh, wow. It's very pigmented, this is awesome. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna apply some on my eyelids too, because why not? And then I'm gonna apply some on the top of my brows and just on the bridge of the nose, not quite here because that will just elongate your nose. Don't do that. Uh, you wanna apply it just on the bridge. If you don't have pores, if you have any big large pores or you have blackheads, you don't wanna apply highlighter there. Or if you have a sunburn, you don't wanna do that. This is a lot of fun. Okay, I finally got my glow back. Since we don't have any eyeshadow, I'm actually gonna apply some of the blush on my eyelids. I'm just using a regular brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this blush on around the crease there. I'm not gonna overthink it, just a little bit there. I'm gonna apply a little under, just to create a little bit of shadow, just to create that kind of monochromatic feeling to the makeup, a little on the lips. All right, I really love the complexion. I love this, like the blending on these products is insane. Sane. I'm going to brush my eyebrows, get rid of any excess product. I'm just using a regular spoolie. I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is Tweezer Man. I go right at the lash line. So my lashes are funny whenever I sleep on them, they kind of go like, oh. Okay, let's do the brows. This is the brow pomade. I hate using brow pomade because I have really coarse eyebrows. The hairs are coarse. Oh, it's the other way. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I feel like it might actually make my eyebrows super bushy. Just gonna do very simple feather strokes. Oh, I think I chose the color brown, by the way. I have a little bit of a gap here, so we are going to try and fill this. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this color is really subtle. I love it. I used to use MAC, um, and I found their brow pomade just made my eyebrows super wild and the color was really pigmented. I'm really actually gonna push it into the brows with this one. Okay, this is really nice. This is very subtle. I would definitely consider this minimal. That's all I need, that's it. Okay, we're gonna do mascara and then we're gonna do lips. So you wanna start at the base of your lashes and then wiggle out. Okay, the formula is not clumpy. It's not too black. It's like a nice soft black, which I like because I've been using brown recently and I've been loving it. I didn't think, I bought it by accident. I was like, there's no way I'm using just brown. I always wear black. But ever since I switched to a lighter brown, I love it. I think it looks more natural. I look healthier. This is really, really nice. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna carve out a little bit more. You don't wanna pump your mascara. You just wanna carve some of that product out. Gonna wiggle it at the base. I'm gonna apply some on the bottom too. Oh, this is nice. Nothing's worse than having a mascara that just clumps, especially when it's black. Once you make a mistake, there's no going back. All right, I'm gonna go really heavy on this. 
very, very light. You can, can barely see it, but it's so nice because it just coats the hair. It doesn't give you like crazy spider eyes. Now we're gonna do the lips. This is such a beautiful applicator. I love this applicator. I love the ones that are um, that have that kind of curve at the end. I wasn't sure which color to get, but I think this one is a good one. I hope this one doesn't bleed. Mm, it's nice and moisturizing. I feel cute. I feel really pretty. I feel elegant. Um, I feel good. This is, this is nice. I like this. That's it. This is the whole look. Um, thank you to Merit Beauty for sending me this beautiful package. This is the final look. I think it's gorgeous. I'm going to turn off two of these lights so you guys can see what it looks like with just one light source. So here it is with just the makeup light, which is a daylight light <laughs> that I get from themakeuplight.com. If you're interested in getting something like this, if you're a makeup artist, make sure you check out my link. You do get a discount. It's one of my favorite lights to use. You can definitely use it just on it on your own on its own because it mimics daylight and it is the most flattering light I've ever used, even more than soft boxes. I have two soft boxes here. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to film it on my iPhone too, and then I will post that. So you can see that the foundation does get a little bit, not heavy, but it just dries into kind of a powder finish, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Like it's super, super pretty and super blendable. I'm so, 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 so impressed with this brand. I love it. I definitely think this is a minimal makeup look. You don't need a lot of products. I uh, just a really good foundation that also doubles as a concealer nice mascara, the brow pomade was beautiful, the highlighter was beautiful, um, the blush is beautiful, like all of these products are absolutely amazing. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lena Does Hair. Leave a thumbs up or a comment because it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.